Greetings everyone in South Korea. I'm so excited to share videos with you about the all-in-one approach to piano success. I'm so excited that the Yesol Publishing Company is publishing this new series. I'm Dr. Helen Marley, and the last time I was in South Korea, I taught many master classes as well as workshops, and I remember a young boy playing this piece that I would like to play for you now called Sevilla by Timothy Brown. It's a very Spanish sounding piece and it's in the blue level of piano success. continuing to publish our piano books from the FJH Music Company. I am so pleased that Mr. Kim, who as you know is the president of Yesol, is having his team of excellent editors headed by Honey Rim to publish Piano Success, the all-in-one approach. You will see in the videos why I wrote this method and how it works so well for you and your students. I really like how Honey and her team added such enjoyable Korean folk songs into your new levels of one and two. This is what level one looks like with the red cover. To begin, the goals are simple. Create a series that is well-paced, joy-filled for both the teacher and students, and one that comprehensively incorporates stimulating music, musicality, healthy natural technique, strong reading and rhythm skills, theory, ear training, and compositional skills. Students learn about many different styles of music and seven composers have written for this curriculum. Students learn about many different styles of music and seven composers have written for this curriculum. The music is fresh and inviting. The all-in-one approach is easy to use because all of the important concepts are in one book. The terrific music, the rhythm activities, the combined reading system, my goodness, the technique, the theory, ear training, the classical compositions, as well as great music history and practice strategies. So you might ask me, what kinds of students work well in the all-in-one approach? It's very good for students who you might think will forget their books because they only have one book to bring to the lesson. <laughs> we can smoothly fit the piano work for a week into a 30-minute lesson with one book. For a student who is a little bit older and can quickly move through a piano method, the all-in-one approach is a dandy one to use. For transfer students who might have missed something along the way that was fundamental, it's a great way for us teachers to know that our students are getting the proper foundation. The all-in-one approach is designed to begin with a first level for six and seven year olds, but we can also use it for transfer students as well as older students. I know many teachers who use it for four and five year olds as well. 
If you think that a student needs more reinforcement for all of the new concepts, then the teacher should use the core method of piano success with its three books per level. So I want to show you, this is what your level two looks like with the lime green color. And in America, we have 2A, 2B, and 2C after those two levels. So it'll be interesting to see how you put together these last three levels. I know that your books in South Korea are thicker, so you have fewer books, and that makes complete sense to me. Students can move directly into the blue books of Piano Success Core Method after they finish the all-in-one approach to Piano Success. So what else can I tell you about? Hmm. Well, I want to tell you why I wrote this method. I believe that students should have a positive and joy-filled experience learning how to play the piano and also learn how to play the piano well. I believe that students should learn about classical composers at an early age. I wrote this method because I believe that students should have a positive and joy-filled experience learning how to play the piano while they learn how to play the piano well. I believe that students should learn about classical composers at an early age, and I wish to teach natural healthy technique, which is a first in any method. Piano success focuses on concepts that every student needs to learn. First of all, an excellent rhythm system. Students internalize rhythm from the tops of their heads to their tips of their toes, which means they experience the feeling of rhythm by swaying, marching, stepping, clapping, or tapping to the beat. Students are taught how to count, and they learn the rhythm of each piece before we ask the student to play the piece. By focusing on the rhythm first and then reading, students quickly and easily succeed every day. An excellent reading system is also important. I call this reading system in the all-in-one approach a combined reading system, combining intervals with traditional note reading. And in this way, they learn how to read more quickly and more efficiently. Students learn healthy, natural technique from the very beginning. They learn the way that the body and the playing mechanism must be used in a fluid and coordinated way. These basic techniques or physical gestures are one of the true foundational features of this piano method. I will show you how teaching touch releases can completely change your students from being average or above average students to stellar students. The physical gestures are really important to learn, as well as the touch releases. The touch releases are physical gestures. Students are um, thinking about how they approach the key, how they play the key, as well as how they release from the key. In piano success, students are encouraged to think about musicality from week one. They learn how to listen to themselves and how to shape phrases early on. And using the physical gestures and touch releases throughout the method certainly guides our students to play musically. So many of my videos focus on the merging of musicality and technique because a student should not learn one without learning the other. Solid technique is like the, the roots and the trunk of a tree and the branches and the leaves of the tree are like the musicality that our students pour into their music. When students learn to combine these two elements, they will continuously feel successful and be motivated to continue the piano. You know, I remember my last trips to South Korea so very fondly. I met so many kind and loving teachers and musicians when I was there, and I was able to see many of your beautiful and historical sites and enjoy your marvelous cuisine, like bimbibop. 
One of the students that I gave a master class to actually became my college student, a piano major with me, Da Sol, and she's just like a daughter to me. I'm really glad that you also use other series as well as Piano Success, like Energize Your Fingers Every Day and Play Your Scales and Chords Every Day, because all of these will unify the music education your students are, are learning. There are nine areas of study in Piano Success. I've already discussed with you um, the rhythm, the reading, the fostering of musicality, uh, the teaching of healthy natural technique, theory and ear training skills, and little activities are throughout the all-in-one approach. There are composition activities throughout, music history and classical composers come to life and are fun and engaging for our students, and also attention is given to how students should practice. So, we must start with the music. The music is what motivates our children to learn. And in Piano Success, there is a fabulous mix of music from originals, classical music, uh, arrangements of classical themes, jazz-inspired pieces, and folk music. Seven different composers make this series interesting for all students. And I also have to say, Honey, thanks again for putting in some great Korean folk songs. At the beginning of every level, each piece is listed with the composer who either arranged or composed the work. I wanted to give credit where it's due to everyone who worked on the music in this piano method. The student pieces as well as the accompanying duet parts are absolutely terrific. Please observe me teach students in the prolific teaching videos on the website in America, and I will provide you with that link at the bottom of this video. Also, the method in America is on digital format, so you could actually use it through the app called SuperScore. Please don't be nervous about using a digital app. I certainly was for music until a few weeks ago, and of course students are so so comfortable with the, all these apps, they can, they can experiment and learn how to do it so easily. The SuperScore practice app is demonstrated in another video by one of my university students, and uh, you can also see that uh, through a link that I will provide for you. Succeeding at the piano, or piano success in South Korea, sets the perfect balance. It has a steady and well thought out flow of concepts introduced at the right time while keeping the tasks challenging enough to push students to reach a higher level of piano playing. I focus on each level of piano success equally, making sure to cater to the musical and technical needs of each level of students, all the way from the beginner level through intermediate level. I hope that you enjoy the videos that I am sending to you. The head editor of Piano Success, Honey Rim, asked me if I would tell you about the recording process of the pieces in Piano Success. The recording process for the downloadable recordings meant that I decided the practice and performance tempos when I was practicing at home. And then the orchestrator at the FJH Music Company created all of the instrumental accompaniments based on the tempo that I provided for him. At the recording studio, which is outside of Baltimore, Maryland, I work with a producer and a recording engineer, and both are top-notch musicians. And I have a faithful, excellent piano technician, Carol Beagle, who stays all day and makes sure that the grand piano is in perfect shape for the recording. We stop for lunch. And then we come back and record my teaching comments that you hear in the middle of the two playing tracks, one that's slower and then one that's up to tempo. Now that the method can be downloaded digitally, students can practice the pieces at any conceivable tempo they would like. So perhaps you can find the SuperScore app online 
and get the digital downloads as well. I wish you all the very best in your teaching and I want to explore the journey of piano success with you, giving you the best pedagogy and music for your students' technical and musical education. I look forward to seeing all of you again when the time is right in South Korea. Until then, please stay healthy and well.